Hello people that in that house are doing a hope you saw doing well. So tomorrow as some people may know and some people might know, it's National Suicide Perfection Day. Um and unfortunately, you know, with this pandemic, um young people and you know, older people alike have been struggling. It's hard, it's been very, very difficult and everybody everybody in society has suffered a lot mentally. Um this is the first time, you know, everybody has you know experienced a, I suppose a depression in their time. Um, and being alone and isolating and everything, not seeing friends, not seeing family. Um, and unfortunately, you know, a lot of suicides have happened. Um, and unfortunately, I, I, I don't want, I don't want even, I don't want to talk about it with you too much. Um, in Cavan, I'm afraid to say a lot of young lives have been lost in the last few months. Um, and as I say, I'm not going to, because we just brought the tears. We don't want to talk about it too much. Um, you know, it, you know, it's it's diff it's very difficult. I know myself. I went through it. Um, you know, you're on the you're on the le you're on the ledge. You're on the edge of you're on the ledge of like a building. Just that's just the best way of putting it. Um, like you know, because I didn't think I I might have said that I never thought I would be here today talking like this. I never would have been four or five years ago. Never would have. Um on this you know it's a terror how things change and there's always it's always you know things change over time and that's the thing i always say to people and if things might seem like they're bad at the moment and this is the thing to take out of it things might seem like they're bad at the moment but there's always light there's always light at the end of the tunnel there's always another day tomorrow will be your day and um, there's always a better day to come for every bad day you have there's a hundred good more to come um but yeah, I'm just saying to people, and I'm saying to people in Cap in particular, um, you know, not to be afraid to reach out to so sad or to pay the house or anybody. Don't be afraid to even talk to your friends. If you want to even contact me again, any time, like if I, if you ever do me to contact me, please do contact me on my Facebook page, or my Twitter page, or even hit me up a message if you want. Um, but you know, if you want to talk, like don't be afraid to. If you do want to talk to me, just forgive me if I am a bit late getting back to you, but I will respond to you. Don't worry about that. Um, but don't be afraid to talk to anybody either be your friends, your family, your neighbour no matter who it is, your football coach even you know, don't, don't be afraid to talk um, because that's the thing you know, particularly in young men nowadays um, you know, across the country you see this, I've seen this so many years you know, over the years, it's particularly young men and the same as me, I'm young I'm a young kind of man um, you know young men it affects young men worse than it affects your girls and things like that. Um, but it does affect girls too. And I'm just saying to people, and I can't say this enough, I could say, sit here for an hour back to talk to people. You know, don't be afraid to talk. And don't, don't take it stupid, because that's the one thing that I thought when I was talking about your know, problems that I was facing and everything. I thought it was stupid saying it to anybody. That, you know, I'm, I'm finding it difficult. I'm finding it hard to... Um, express my feelings to get this sort and this you know and I, I thought it was stupid at the time I thought it was stupid but now looking back and it was the right thing to do go and say to somebody you know I need a, I need an extra bit of help um, I need a leg up if that makes any sense and because we all need you know we all need our friends we all need our family we all need our community um, and again I keep saying the community is important and during this you know crisis you know we've seen communities pull together in unbelievably different situations and um, helping older people and helping each other more or less comforting each other at the time of crisis um, but that shows good spirit first of all that shows that we have people in our communities that care about each other um, and they want to help each other and that's something that many countries don't have um, so I just say to people you know, don't be afraid um, to talk to anybody and don't be afraid and really you know it's okay not to be okay and it's simple as that and um, because you know years ago it was just get up and get on with it that was what was said um but you know it's a different it's a different way now um and you know that did no good for anybody getting up and get on with it. that just put more baggage on them put more weight on them um it caused more trouble than it say you know saved them um, and it's always good to talk about these things. Um, no matter how stupid it seems to you, you know, there's somebody in your, there's somebody there to listen. Um, and again, I say to people, you know, 
don't be afraid to talk. I can't, I could honestly sit here for the next six to seven hours just saying, don't be afraid to talk. Because talking is the medicine. Talking and laughter with your friends and with your family is the you know, it's the best medicine anybody can give you. Any doctor or any psychologist is the best medicine ever. Talking to each other, talking to your friends. Um, and again, I say to people, you know, I'm here. I'm here, don't worry. Anytime you want to talk to me, don't be afraid. And I won't go around telling anybody. Um, you know, I want to help. I'm here to help anybody if anybody needs help. Um, I do my best to help as much as I can. Um, but the thing is, and this is the thing too, you have to tell somebody. You have to tell somebody that, you know, I'm facing a difficult time. Because if you don't tell somebody, we won't know. Nobody will know. Um, so, yeah, that's the hardest thing to do. I keep saying it is hard. It's extremely hard to go up and say to somebody, you know, I'm not feeling okay. Um, and after that, you know, everything's like smooth sailing. Um, because as soon as you say to a person, you know, I'm not feeling the best, straight away you have loads of support, loads of help. Um, you just need to say the word. I know that word's very, very difficult, believe me. But, you know, please, please, don't be afraid again. Um, like you know, cause that's the only thing that you know can help people. It's just the talk, and I know it seems difficult and it's hard, especially in young men. I know myself; it's hard to, you know, my father or my grandfather would have been one of them people who would have just got on with it, no matter what happens, happened to them. You know, their mother died in very bad circumstances. You know, um, they just never said anything to anybody. They never talked about it, and you know that affected them all their life. Um. They just went on like everything was normal. And it didn't help them. As they said at the end of the day, it didn't help them. It made them worse. If anything, it made them worse. Because they never said anything. They just wanted to forget about it. Um, And, you know, talking about it is the best medicine. Um, Like, I could sit here, like, again, I could sit here all day and say, um, so please, you know, if you do feel suicidal or anything like that, don't be afraid to talk. Thank you. And please take care of everybody and bye.